Nobody likes Jill Biden. Literally nobody. Nobody likes Jill Biden at all. Jill Biden is hated by everyone. She is the most, she's like the most hated person in Washington, D.C., which is wild because there's so many people that are hated in Washington, D.C. Jill Biden has no friends. She has tons of enemies. She doesn't like anyone either. Like, let's keep it. Let's get, let's make it fair. But Jill Biden has been snubbed by two high profile women in the same week. First up, Melania Trump. Melania Trump was at, was invited by Jill Biden to come to the White House when her when the husbands are meeting, the wives get together, the first ladies sit down and they they have some tea and they spill the tea and you know there's I don't know I don't know what they do but I just imagine there's lots of tea. It just seems like the perfect time for tea. Uh, but Melania Trump has said I'm not going to the White House to meet with Jill Biden. She said no, thank you, Jill. Although I don't think she was that polite about it. She snubbed the invitation. She said I ain't going. And the, there's the official and there's the unofficial reason why she's not going. Now, the official reason why she's not going is because she says she has a conflict. She's got a book out, a bestseller. It's called Melania. And she has a uh, she has a book tour. She's got some events. She's what, you know, take your pick. Whatever the reason, for whatever reason, she's decided I've got better things to do. And I can't get out of my pre-planned meeting or my book tour, my book event. So I'm not going to go to the White House. But there's an unofficial reason why Melania Trump is not going. An anonymous source sold, told CNN that Melania is set to skip the traditional first lady meeting, adding the snub is due to an upcoming schedule conflict, blah, blah, blah. Another source gave a different reason for Melania's anticipated absence, alleging she still holds grievances over the FBI's raid on Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence in Palm Beach, Florida, because... FBI agents reportedly rifled through her wardrobe and clothes. Now, the story I heard, and I'm sure you heard, and as was widely reported, is that the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago while Joe Biden was president, and they rifled through Melania's underwear drawer. Her clothes, yes, but they went through her unmentionables. I don't know why they were looking for I don't know why they were looking for top secret documents in her unmentionables drawer, but she was not happy with it. She was not, she was not a fan and she holds a grudge and hell hath no fury like a Melania scorned. So when Jill Biden, wife of Joe Biden invites her to the white house, she says, hell no, she ain't going is the quote that was, in fact, I think I have it right here. Uh, she ain't going is the quote. Here it is. The unnamed source told the New York Post, Jill Biden's husband uh, authorized the FBI to snoop through her underwear drawer. Now, Joe Biden, keep in mind, claims he did not give any authorization. This was the quote. But he was the president and the FBI is under his jurisdiction. So whether he authorized it or not, he is linked to the FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago simply by the position of power that he holds. Now, Melania Trump is holding him and her accountable for that. And the me and the internet's all for it, man. She is getting applauded. She's getting bravos and kudos and people are like, "Hey, oh Melania, you go girl. Don't go anywhere near that white. House. Don't go anywhere near that B word and her husband." Because I think a lot of people also realize that Joe Biden relies on his husband, on her his wife rather, a lot more than most presidents have. But that's not the only there's another. That's not the only snub. You know who else doesn't like Jill Biden? is Kamala Harris. Or I think in this case, it's Kamala Harris who doesn't like, I'm sorry, it's Jill Biden who doesn't like Kamala Harris. Because you may remember, Kamala Harris took over for Joe Biden when Joe Biden was forced out by his own party. When Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama and God knows who else came to the White House and told Joe, you better go or else. We'll use the 25th Amendment, or we heard there were there were salacious and embarrassing text messages. They were going to start uh, disclosing secret conversations they'd had with Joe Biden, which would have been embarrassing and and would have really put his his mental capacity and his physical state to run the country in question. Which I mean, we already questioned it. I don't know. I don't know what else they would have come up with. But Joe Biden got pushed out by his own party. Jill Biden was furious, still is, because she likes being first lady. She wanted to be first lady. For the next four years, she doesn't care that the border's wide open or that there's we're on the brink of World War Three. That doesn't affect her. She lives in the White House with round the clock Secret Service protection. She'll be fine. No illegal immigrant is going to take over her house or her apartment complex. They're not going to eat her dog or cat. 
None of that's going to happen. So Jill Biden, she wants to kick it in the in the West Wing a little while longer. I'm sorry, the Democrats put that plan uh, to rest. So yesterday at Arlington National Cemetery, I think it was the National Cemetery. I forget where it was. Anyway, uh, the uh, the um, Kamala Harris was walking through. She was shaking everyone's hand. She was saying hello to everybody. And she walked right by or really turned and ran the other way from Jill Biden. Here she is coming out onto the balcony. And there she is with the first or with the, I'm sorry, the second uh, weirdo. Doug Emhoff, and she's shaking Anthony Blinken's hand, and she just bypasses. You could see Jill Biden was right there. Look, she shakes. She literally shakes hands around Jill Biden, doesn't shake Jill Biden's hand. Jill Biden does not acknowledge her or give her the time of day, looks straight ahead, and the vice president and the second weirdo take their seats right next to Jill Biden, who makes no notice or no effort to even to even register that she's there. This is this is a party that is uh, totally on the brink. Nobody, nobody likes Jill Biden. Jill Biden doesn't like anyone else. This is a catfight of monumental proportions. This first lady feud and the and the Kamala Jill rift is going to be. I mean, it's look. It's like it's like the Real Housewives of Washington D.C. a little bit. But I think everybody realizes that in the long haul, we are all. We are all uh, Team Melania. In fact, I believe that I think I think the big winner in this whole race is Donald Trump and the American people, of course, but also Melania Trump because she was so poorly treated the first time around. She was so she was so disrespected by the media. She all the fashion magazines. You have a an actual fashion model as the first lady, and every fashion magazine that typically puts the first lady on the cover dissed her. They made fun of her Christmas decorations. They made fun of her wardrobe. They made fun of her accent. They went into the archives and found photos of her when she was a a young up and coming model, with you know scantily clad, if not not clad at all. And they tried to they tried to embarrass her. And back then she had a young son. Baron was young. He was in he was in middle school and high school. Now he's in college. Now he's a grown man. And I think this is going to be not just Donald Trump's second turn. I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be Melania Trump's second turn. I think this is going to be Melania's new golden age. And if you think she was a good first lady the first time around, I think she's going to be an outstanding first lady the second time around. And I think finally, finally, the rest of the world is going to know it as well. If you enjoyed this video, even for like a second, please do me a solid and subscribe to this channel. In fact, do yourself a solid because we're going to keep bringing you information and inspiration and entertainment every single day for the rest of, well, my life. And all you need to do to get it is subscribe, hit the notifications, and let whatever platform you're on know, I want more of Mark K Saves the Republic. Do it now. Just start, just start clicking. Click everything you can possibly click, except the thumbs down. Just the thumbs up.